I'm passionate about the concept of gender diversity for two primary reasons. One, we're in a professional services firm. Our people are our only and our biggest asset, and as a result, we've got to have the best people. Women are an equal equation to that, and as a result, we've got to bring equal women into this, both for what we do as well as what organizations do. And the second reason I'm actually passionate about this is very personal. Um, as you look around at your own life experiences, I've had a few where I was considered, for example, the minority. So I was over in Japan for a few years. I was the outsider looking in. Uh, I've gone through a divorce. I had a little bit of an appreciation of sort of what it feels like to be on the other side of the table. So those things are really important that create the passion for me to do what I do as well as help the organization do what we do at PwC. Men are important to the conversation, but they're equally as important in the actions that are needed to actually deal with the gender equality issue that's out there. I think it's important to actually ask for men to be engaged. One of the problems that we have right now is we're not having the candid, transparent dialogue, the difficult dialogue, as to how men can play a role and how it can actually relate to them. They've got to have a business reason for doing it, a personal reason for doing it. So the ask from organizations, and that's corporates, governments, and communities, all have to actually start with a very simple ask that men are actually an answer to the, some of the questions that we're trying to deal with and I think will be helpful in the success going forward. Organizations suffer from a challenge of having so much on their plate, but there's some very simple things they can do as it relates to enhancing diversity in their organization. First off, they can actually lead from the front. The leadership team needs to understand that diversity is an important issue. They should talk about it passionately inside the organization and for that matter, out. Second, they have to create the right environment for people to talk about this, not just at the CEO level, but throughout the entire organization, and ask for help. Can't just be one person from the top, no matter who it is, male or female. And last but not least is actually put the right programs in place, the right expectations in place, the right accountability in place to make it different. And the last, finally, I would say is that it's a business issue. The more organizations can see this as a business issue, the better this becomes less of a fad and embedded in what they do each and every day. STEM skills are hugely important in today's environment. Our CEO survey actually focuses on the fact that about 87% of the CEOs that we interview each and every year focus on the disruption that's going to come from, for example, people with STEM skills. So these are the innovators, these are the scientists, these are the mathematicians doing the algorithms, these are the engineers that are creating the code right now to blow up their business models. So if CEOs aren't focused on that, they run the risk of not being relevant and being in business going forward and somebody else taking their place. And you see that today in the technology advancements that are out there. And you see that today in terms of how technology companies, for example, are actually spreading their wings wide and far and the implication it has on broader business. So every CEO has to be focused on STEM, STEM skills, and the people that have them for the disruption that's coming. The U.S. Chamber and the Center for Women in Business is hugely important because what it's doing right now is creating a heck of a lot more awareness and as always, the concept is not necessarily just get the awareness up, get the actions up. So what the, the center is doing is actually create awareness, enable a dialogue, and leverage best practices for people to share to actually execute and behave differently going forward to get a better result. And that's a great opportunity for the business uh, community here in the United States and for that matter around the world. And the chamber is playing a hugely valuable role in that, regardless if it's around gender or around just business in general to enable our success in this country and uh, allows us to compete competitively around the world.